Welcome back dudes, dudesses. We're back with another unbox on the Electric Skateboard Review channel. Andrew Penman, I'm your host, I'm your reviewer. Look, i um, been doing this for a while, uh, so I get to know what these boards are like for the minute I sort of handpick them uh, to basically when I finally recommend them if I do and any issues. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Uh, what I do is I do weekly videos on the latest technology coming out of pretty much China, but anywhere pretty much as well, uh, on electric skateboards, um, hacks, modifications, uh, anything we need to get across information, I'll do some live streams. Uh, a lot of my stuff is uh, is outside the box. It's a thinking person's electric skateboard review channel with an older mature guy who's been doing this for 47 years, riding skateboards and for this about eight years. So consider subscribing, hit that notification bell. We've got a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of codes, discounts, to help you guys um, in making that final push the button if you want to buy something or not. Um, so that's it and uh, a lot happening over the next few months. So um, today we have got uh, <laughs> an amazing epic unbox as you can see. These are the Transite boards um, coming out of Sydney, Australia. I was so lucky, Australia, to be uh, living in a city where I stumbled across on one of our group rides, the owner founder of a Transite boards, Eduardo, uh, originally from Peru. He's an absolute, uh, he's a surfer, a skater like me, so we're on the same page. He's come from that background, intellectual skateboard riding for about six years, been doing this, this shit for a while. He knows what he's doing. He sources the highest quality products from China. He's gone through literally hundreds of suppliers, vendors to get finally what he believes is the best setup. And I'll tell you, as you see in this video now, I was actually privileged to meet him on the night ride. We had a ride, test ride some of the boards, including the direct drive, the uh, the cross country. These boards are very different. Uh, it's another level uh, from what I've written before. So we're talking the next level stuff in terms of hub motors. We'll go through that in some detail in a minute. We'll take you through the website. Uh, look, you know, if the world was flat, uh, hubs would be king, as I've said a lot of my catchphrases. But the world isn't flat. But you know, if we've taken a while to get to the stage where hubs could never quite compete with the gearing of a, of a, of a, of a, of a you know, belt drive. Uh, but we're getting really close now. We're getting to a point where, eh, you know, I don't know, you, you're getting to a point where unless you've got super steep hills in San Francisco, your hubs are gonna take over. They're less work, they're less maintenance, they're quiet. And let's unbox these, get them on the table and have a chat and I'll click my fingers and we'll get these on the table. There they are. Okay, we got them. I hope they're in picture, you can see them. Okay, let's just talk a bit about uh, this board. It, well, it actually essentially is the one board, um, but we've got the two wheel options. So I'm so lucky to have the two wheel options tonight to show you, which is the 150 millimeter uh, airless um, slight honeycomb rubber tires, full rubber with the cloud wheels, latest version, discovery wheels with the white cores. And we'll talk about it. It's basically the hybrid uh, direct drive. So. Let's talk about the wheels on the other one is the cloud wheel new clear ones. They're, they look absolutely awesome with the gray uh, foam inside. So let's talk a bit about a uh, first of all company. Um, Eduardo uh, yeah, is a very um, obsessive builder. He likes to get things right. These are hand assembled in Sydney. This is all done at, at a Maroubra beach. Uh, uh, so the parts are sourced from China. There's four factories involved. They're all hand picked. So. You know, I've ridden direct drives before. I was, you know, was impressed. I was not over, I wasn't sure how I felt about that. When I got on this and you can see uh, on the video uh, that I was just blown away with the smoothness of, of how this rides. Let me point something out guys. Until you've ridden a direct drive uh, properly set up like this, it is something that is another level. It'll blow your mind, it, it really is. And these motors are super quiet. Like. It's like two magnets repelling. It's just a, a, a movement that goes across the ground without any sound, any noise. This is the most silent hub motors I've ever experienced. There is no sound, there is no sound. Um, so big kick-ass motors, we're talking, uh, they're 1,600 watt per motor. That's 3,200 watts on the rear end there. Now we've got the advent of uh, the bigger wheels, like the cloud wheels, these 115s, which are slightly small, as you can see there, um, on, that, uh, on that hub. You are lifting the bottom up and you've got a clearance there of about nearly two inches between the wheel 
uh, and the actual motor, which makes a big difference now with these uh, direct drives. They were bottoming out a bit. The clearance on the on the on the bottom of the of the casing is is literally four feet, my whole hand. So we got a massive clearance on this. That was one of the disadvantages of the early direct drives. Um, look, this is uh, a thirty eight inch deck. I love the. It's a Hobby Wing Custom. Uh, we're talking sixty four kV on this. That same all you you DIY guys are going. What the hell, dude? Bummer, dude. See sixty four. It's a low, uh, a low. Well, it's basically, it's a nanometer of 5.5. So that's basically Isaac Newton when the apple fell on his head. He designed the whole three laws of movement back in the 16th century. Uh, a newton meter is the travel of a force between one area in a newton meter, which is one meter. But back then there wasn't meters; there were probably feet or yards or horse foot footprints. Um, but that it, it expresses the the it's the, the the newton meter is the measure of torque. Now. Uh, the torque on this being a, a, a KV of 64, you are looking at smaller, finer windings, hand wound, that give you obviously less amps, but more voltage. Um, it's the EMF, electric magnetic force. I'm electrical fitting mechanic. It's the, the current that's uh, reduced, but the magnetic uh, voltage becomes a lot, a lot more higher. Therefore, you get a lot more um, you can spin at a high, you know, you can basically, it's a top end, it's a much better top end where you have the other way, which is um, a higher KV, you have thicker, less windings, more current, but less voltage. Less voltage means you can spin something fast like a drone or a small wheel and you get that, this is torque like on a takeoff, but this has this custom hobby wing, so it effectively has that high torque at takeoff. But the other end, you got 45 kilometers per hour because of the low KV. It is a brilliant design. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, to be honest, I've ridden it, I've ordered one, I'm buying one. This will be my board, my go-to board at the moment, and I'm gonna really hammer it to see if it stands up and it looks like it will. We've tested these on seven or eight night rides, 40 kilometers, they're getting a range on the, uh, the battery pack, which is Samsung 30Q. It's a 10S uh, five pack. So, you know, it's a big kick-ass battery in here, 14 amp hour or 15 amp hour. I think it's 14 amp hour. No, I think it's 15 amp hour. Uh, this will get you a 40 kilometer range on my weight or 37. A beautiful rubberized remote on this. It is just gorgeous. It's rubberized uh, with the LCD screen on it. Um, and they are a, a very sexy remote. Um, rubberized makes such a difference to holding a remote properly. And, Something happened to me the other night, which I won't go into, but uh, devastating. So yeah, the rubberized remotes are better. Um, so let's talk a little bit about it. We'll go to the website, and have a little look at it, and we'll just check out, um, you know, what what we're looking at here in terms of website. There's the website, Transite. Look, that's the board there. Um, uh, that's the actual website. That that one's across country originally on the top there. You will see there, um, and you come down. We'll just that's the logo, Australian assembled, and the whole thing's checked here. The parts are sort of shipped in, and this is hand done by Eduardo uh, in his location in Sydney. Uh, there you go. The eighteen ninety for the cross country. We'll cover that later. The cross country is an awesome board. I've ridden that. That is just such a beast. There's that's the range of boards in Eduardo's sort of um, catalog and his sort of quiver. One we're looking at today is, um, they've, got the, they've got the slide-in battery for the Mini, that's the same as my AE board, that's awesome. Uh, okay, today we're looking at the hybrid direct drive, so uh, there we go, that's it there. Now look, this is not only a sexy looking board, it performs, it really is a, a beast of a board. Let's go into it and have a look at the options. If you're gonna buy one of these things, um, I'll have a discount code at the end, you'll have to watch the whole video, it'll come up on the screen only. Uh, there we got some of the, uh, look at the deck grip. This is custom deck grip, you can't get this anywhere in the world. This is like a zebra. And the transite looks, well I come from Africa, like the Transvaal, it's like a zebra, it's like an African, my opinion, feel about it. It looks brilliant, it's just a sexy looking. The, the, there's the rubber uh, honeycombs, 150 millimeters. There's so many options. The beauty with this is 2,290 for the standard 150 millimeter airless rubber wheels. And then of course, if you want an option for the cloud wheels, they are the same price, 2,290. Drop down menu will do that, as you can see there. Just click on the cloud wheels. Now you can option for both sets, and I'm getting that, which means I'll get a set of the rubber ones for heavy duty off-road and the cloud wheels for just cruising, get more range on the cloud wheels. You're getting 41, 42 kilometers. On the rubbers, you're getting about 37. Um, that, so there's the website. As you can see, um, it's a beautiful structure website. There's all the stats, 12 kilograms, quite a heavy board, nice solid deck. There's your 1600 watt and your 64 kV, 5.5 Newton meters. Um, yeah, look, it's, it's, that's it. So we, we come back. So um, 
This is everything you need to do. Uh, there'll be payment options. Eduardo is also in the finance area, so he'll be able to, industry so he can sort of organize paying it off kind of stuff, all that. There'll be a very generous offer to get these boards um, into the market. Uh, so I think it's gonna be, uh, well, I'll, I'll mention it now. It's a $200 off the price of this, straight away off the bat. Um, and it's free shipping anywhere in Australia for that price, $200 off, which brings it down to, um, if you get the whole kit, it's 2,250. If you're gonna get the other one, it'll be 2,009, oh, whatever, less than, less than 200 bucks. Um, now, if you're an overseas buyer, uh, with the, these are assembled here and shipped out of, out of Sydney, so ex-Sydney stock, pick it up in Sydney if you want, or you can get it shipped for no charge anywhere. Um, if you're overseas, send Eduardo an email, the information will be below in the description field, uh, below to sort of talk about shipping to your country. Um, now, let's just talk a bit about Direct Drive, okay? Um, uh, and the code is coming up now. I'm not gonna mention it, so if you're listening, walking around in your ears, and use this as a podcast, you have to turn your phone on and get the code. That's the code there for the $200 discount. Be quick, These are there's, there's not a lot of these. They're hand-built, handmade in Sydney, and you have to get in quick. So um, I've ordered mine, I'm right at the front of the queue. So um, I usually get this for free. Um, this is not a paid advertisement, it's not a paid review. I'm paying for my board. Um, so let's just talk a bit about, let's hold this one up. This is the cloud wheel, oh jeez. They are heavy, 12 kilos, it's a battery. There are 30Q Samsung here, that's the best long range battery. The DuPont casing underneath is all rubberized, finished under there, I'll get some HD video in a minute of this board when I uh, sign up before I ride it. Uh, the motors are all anodized dipped, they've got the classic double kingpin uh, uh, with the nice black bushings that keeps it slick and neat. Look at those, look at those beautiful cloud wheels. I'm getting those actually uh, next week to review. Thank you, Yuri from Cloud Wheels, gonna give me the new, brand new uh, Discovery and the gearing. Um, yeah, this has got a, a beautiful drop down. Look at that deck on that, geez, this is a beast of a board. Um, that drop down, you can just see there, look at that, it is absolutely deep, it's about an inch. So this is what you want, as you get faster and faster, and this thing will do 50 kilometers per hour, and I can tell you, look, it's just spin. It just sounds just beautiful. Um, when you get that speed, you want this drop down. You want to be securely strapped in. You don't want to come off at that speed. Uh, they are just uh, absolutely a beautiful design deck. And I'm loving the deck more than I like anything else um, about it. But anything else is pretty much unbelievable. Um, so let's talk a bit about hill climb 30%. I'm going to do a hill climb test on it. I'll be riding this in a minute and getting the first ride on it. Uh, Hobby Wing Custom Remote is incredibly done. It is the best pull-up braking I've felt and firm braking and is just a pleasure to ride. So I can't emphasize, guys, enough that when you ride this, there's just no sound. There's just nothing. And it's got so much torque. It just bites. It's kind of a bit scary. It's very powerful. You've got the, you know, the speeds, the whole thing on there changing. Um, and you know, if you haven't ridden a direct drive, and I was dubious about direct drives, I wasn't 100% convinced, but now we've got the big cloud wheels, the, the evolving wheels are changing and they're getting bigger and they're getting better. That makes the direct drives an option that is more than just uh, interesting, it's very attractive. In fact, it's gonna be the next level. My, you know, I've been waiting for this to happen where hubs got to a point where they're gonna really challenge the, 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 the belt drives, and that is at that point right now. So a big thank you to Eduardo, to Transite for let me showcase these boards. First person in the world to do it. I'm the first YouTuber again to do this. Um, great honor. Uh, this is an exceptional electric skateboard. You're paying top dollar for this, but this is these components are not cheap components are gonna be really solid. Um, uh, I love it. Now the other one, which is the uh, the rubber wheels, so you can see on here, oh boy, these are big boards. You've got the orange bushings on the uh, on this particular one. I think you can option for orange bushings like that, or you can have the black bushings. Uh, the, the hexagonals are all, you know, insignia written on them. It's just beautifully done. And this is a really heavy casing. This is like the heaviest plastic I've actually felt. Um, but look at that, just look at that, and look at that board there. We'll get more HD on the table uh, in a minute. So if you, um, you're in the market to buy a high quality, uh, look, there's no question, belts are, belts are gone. Belts are, are definitely dead in the water. I give them, I said that four years ago, they'll be gone, but surprisingly, with the second generation of Vols and the boosters, um, now <laughs> starting to slip and uh, things are happening. Uh, belts are no longer as attractive. If you think about it, this is the Tesla, 
car design. This is what the future is as direct drive. You're getting all four wheels. If you're new to electric skateboarding, all four wheels are sponging and bouncing around as a normal wheel. Because they're so black and their wheels are so big, it just looks like a normal skateboard with a tiny little motor that you don't even see. And you get that all that suspension and bounce as a normal skateboard, even better than an all-terrain, uh, well, like, the, the, for instance, the, the, the other Chinese ones with a thinner wheel, they do bounce a lot. These things are, are super smooth. These cloud wheels and these rubber ones feel just like you're on all-terrain. You can go over train tracks and cobblestones and bang over one-inch gutters. It's just nothing. So why would you walk around with... <laughs> Shit, I'll... Why would you walk around holding pram wheels, I call them big things and big knobby tires that drag you down when you can have something that does the same effect, the same feel, and it's tiny, it's James Bond, it's just there, look, they're only 120 millimeters. I mean, it's crazy. That's the future. So, uh, yeah, you'll see more direct drives coming through in the industry now, and I think the belts will be gone. And within two and a half years, there'll be hardly many belts, direct drive, and hubs. That'll be the future. Guys, um, I want to also just thank very much um, everyone for watching my, my live stream. I'm doing a live stream on this tonight. I'm coming straight now at 8.30 30 an hour's time to go to live Eastern Standard Time Australia talking about the transite boards, getting down to the nitty gritty of the batteries, the, the range, everything. We'll talk about the quality build and what I'm gonna, how what I feel. I've ridden them already. I can tell you what I feel. Um, and stock, X stock, how, how, when can you get it? Uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, so let's talk about that in the live stream tonight, and you'll probably be able to watch that. It'll be the video after this on my, you know, my history of my channel, so you can check that out. So just summing up, the top speed 40 to 45 kilometers per hour. If you're lighter, you'll get nearly 50 kilometers per hour. Range, 40 kilometer range if you're based on about 85 to 90 kilos. I'll probably get um, close to that. Uh, the cloud wheel gets you more, the rubber wheels gets you slightly less. Um, in terms of uh, local support, you know, the thing with this is if you buy this in Australia and you live in Sydney or you live in Australia, you've got local support. Eduardo will support, help you with any issues that you won't have any. He smashed these for nearly three or four months continuously, and they are, I wrote it. It's like uh, it's like a new board. I mean, I have a hundred percent faith that this particular build is super robust. Um, I love the black edging. I love the beautiful scalloped out and the slight. It's not just a, a dip. It's also a, a. It's like got a slight rise in the middle. You can see. Uh, and it is just beautiful. Let's flip it over, let's have a look at the motors, let's hear them and have a look at them and then we'll go on to uh, the last part of the. Okay, we've got them set up upside down. There's the two remotes on, the boards are on. This casing is just so sexy, massive rubber, totally waterproofed. Uh, yeah, just loving it, absolutely loving the look of this thing. It is just a beautiful, aesthetically a gorgeous board. Okay, let's have a look. First of all, got sounds, I've got pillows under here because that my floor uh, floorboards and it vibrates. Let's listen to the rubber ones. Oh my gosh. That says 55 kilometers per hour on that. Braking is beautiful. They're just dead. There's no movement. I'm sick of seeing the wheels wobble on some of these boards that come through. That is just dead accurate. There's no movement there at all. There's not, not one bit out. Let's look at the, um, the cloud wheels. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, beautiful. That says 55 as well. Beautiful hobby wing in that. Braking incredible. That's it, guys. There you go, guys. Um, I think we'll leave it on that. Um, Transite Board's the latest player to come into the market, and he sat back and waited and brought out the best direct drive system, period. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Uh, any problems at all? Yeah, Eduardo will be able to help you. I can talk to you about anything you need to know or want. Uh, there'll be a live stream tonight. Uh, hook into that. Um, obviously, that'll be a, there's a time machine. Time machine now that you won't. Uh, that'll be done and dusted. Uh, guys, I hope that helps. This is the, the Transite one of the boards, the uh, hybrid direct drive with the wheel options of the 115 millimeter rubber and the Cloud Wheels 120 for new discovery. Guys, thanks for joining me again today on this Andrew Penman Electric Skateboard Unbox Review for the Transite Board coming out of Sydney, Australia, born and bred. Thank you for everybody. This is brought to you by Red Bull. Are you kidding? Well, maybe not. 
uh, and shred lights. If you want your shred lights, check them out in the description field below. I've got a discount code, you'll get uh, 10, 12% off, uh, whatever is down below, uh, and check out that and support uh, Eric's company. Shred lights are amazing. So thanks Eduardo, thank you to everybody for supplying this. Let's get out now and ride it, get some performance video. I'll get Olympic Park on the the rubber wheel one. I wanna really push and see what it can do. And uh, any questions will come back uh, and hit you in the description field, pop them down below. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, and there'll be the hill climb test, the long range, and the speed and sprint test fully padded up for these coming up over the next few, uh, over the next month. Till next time guys, happy skating, safe skating. We'll see you in the next video. Andrew Penman signing off. Okay dudes, we're here now on the first ride. You've seen the unbox. Uh, I have ridden it before, but I want to show you my impressions again. This uh, SS Super Series, um, direct drive, hybrid is insane. Let's, uh, let's have a quick ride, watch this. See you what? That's only first speed. We're gonna take it for a full on spin. Super smooth, super incredible. 
absolutely loving it. My gosh, that's speed one. Let's get fully tested now, all right. Okay guys, I'm gonna take you for a ride now, just check it out. This is the uh, Transite DD Hybrid Direct Drive. Now I'm gonna give it a good first ride. And what I normally do with these things, I ride it for at least an hour or so um, to really get an idea how it performs. Braking straight away on a full battery. No cutout, which is really good. Uh, we'll go around this roundabout just here quickly. I like doing this because this tests the wheels and tests out the, it's an angle roundabout on a hill. It's pretty steep. Oh man, what a transition on that accelerator. That curb is just insane. Unbelievable. Okay, well, let's check out the big turn here, which normally is a good test for it. Oh yeah, the double kingpin trucks are just incredible. Uh, unbelievable. I've got the cloud wheels on this model today. So, um, we'll check out these pavings on the cloud wheel. Right, yeah, paving's no problem on that cloud wheel. I might get out of the sun and go the other way and I'll take it for a good ride now and test it. My God, so far. So what we've got here is immediately the feeling of response and curve on this accelerator is just the best I've ridden so far. I keep saying that, but these things are getting better and better every single month, year. Soft, just precision. Oh my God, so if you want that sharp braking, you've got it. And if you want smooth braking, you've got it. Look at the carb on these trucks. This is just beautiful, double, double kingpin. So far, this is, it's, it's far superior than my Volt. Far superior, like it's, it's like driving a car. It's just so, this direct drive is absolutely direct riding. Let's go and get some footage from behind me riding now.
okay, I've been riding this thing for about an hour now. Uh, only one bar battery down, which is ridiculous. This board is going so well, literally flying. For a second, I want to show you the cloud wheels. This is generation uh, one. I just want to show you close up. Um, look at this. You can see if I spin it, there's no cracks in there. Not one single crack. Okay. I might just point out I'm nearly home. Uh, I've ridden about probably um, 35Ks today. Um, battery's down at one bar. Wow. Epic swell. That's 10 feet out there. Cool, cool beach. Insane. Let's check it out, go around here. Look at that. Massive. It's just all white water the whole way out. Yeah. 